An average heavy goods vehicle accumulates over 72,000 kilometers annually using 25,000 liters of fuel at an expense of over 28,000 euro to the operator. HGVs are responsible for 6% of Europe's carbon emissions. Despite some improvements in efficiency over the last few decades, this figure continues to rise due to the ever-increasing demand for road freight. With this in mind, all possible avenues for increasing efficiency should be considered. We found aerodynamic losses to be one of the greatest inefficiencies in modern HGVs and found that they could easily be improved. This is our proposed solution. Starting at the front of the truck, we analysed the truck face. Due to a regulation stipulating a maximum length for a tractor and trailer combination, as measured from the front of the tractor unit to the back of the trailer, many manufacturers have gone with the cab over engine design to maximise trailer lengths and therefore profits. The resulting truck shape is a safety hazard and an aerodynamic disaster. The flat face causes a large high pressure region in front of the truck. This increases the density of air in that region, which in turn causes more drag, requiring the engine to burn more fuel to overcome this resistance. Our solution is to extend the face of the truck to create a more aerodynamic shape. A curved surface would guide the air around the truck far more effectively than the existing flat face. For practicality, the length of this extension must be considered. We found an extension of 0.8 meters to be the ideal compromise between efficiency and practicality. The addition of this front deflector has the added benefit of addressing two major safety concerns that has for decades been overlooked on cab over engine style HGVs. The first being visibility from the cab. With a standard cab over engine truck design, a person can easily stand under the driver's windscreen and be entirely hidden unless the driver checks their mirror. With the new deflector adding 80 centimeters to the front of the truck, pedestrians will be much easier to spot out of the bottom of the windscreen, which could prevent pedestrian collisions. The second safety concern with the cab over engine design is the lack of crumple zone. The region directly under the driver is used entirely for housing the engine, which is not very forgiving in the event of a collision with the car. The extra nose space granted by our attachment would allow for a significant energy absorption system to be fitted, which would reduce the severity of collisions with cars, pedestrians and cyclists, and potentially save many lives. Moving down the truck to the trailer gap, we find another area with room for substantial aerodynamic improvements. This gap disrupts airflow, resulting in the formation of a vacuum in this space. This sucks in clean air passing around the truck, which further detaches airflow from the surface of the truck, compromising the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Our proposed solution is to use a deflector, which could open behind the cab, reducing the gap at speeds used on motorways. The deflector would still allow the articulation required without hindering the movement of the trailer. Next, we consider the wheels. The deep centre of truck and trailer wheels can establish turbulent airflow due to vortices created in the spinning wheel and the ventilation holes for brake calipers. This turbulent airflow accounts for up to 8% of total vehicle drag at 100 km an hour. Taking inspiration from the dimpled surface of a golf ball, we added a dimpled hemisphere cover to the centre of the wheel. The dimpled surface creates a shallow region of turbulent air which attaches the airflow better than a smooth surface. This delays the point of separation, which reduces the overall turbulence created by the wheels and reduces the weight created. In conclusion, our research has shown that there could be major energy savings made through improving the aerodynamics of HGVs. These energy savings are achievable, and using our proposed solution, the cost involved to convert current vehicles is low enough to be attractive to business. Applying these aerodynamic improvements would yield an 11% improvement on fuel efficiency on motorway journeys. Driving a truck with a poor aerodynamic setup is equivalent to a driver setting his wages on fire twice a year. Through the widespread use of these aerodynamic improvements, carbon emissions could therefore be significantly reduced in the short term, creating a quick win solution for both business and the environment.